Hi, I'm Cynthia Khan, founder of Amuse Now, and I'm here today with Victor Samalot, guitarist, composer, and music producer. Hey, Victor. Hey, Cynthia. How are you today? I'm also doing fabulous. Today. How are you doing? All right. Good, good. Real good. Good to be here. <laughs> Victor, I listen to all your songs on Reverb Nation and SoundCloud, and I am definitely impressed by your guitar playing ability. You specialize in jazz, Latin, and acoustic rock, but I bet you can play anything. Yes, I dabbled in Latin, jazz, and acoustic rock. A little classical, but uh, that's a little out of my league, but uh, I enjoy it. That's terrific. Why don't you tell me about your two most recent singles, Off to Arizona and March in the Woods? March in the Woods, Cynthia, is a song that I sort of composed and recorded on the spot, meaning that it's sort of an, an improv. I put it together as just, it just came out of my head. I, I used this tool called a looper, which I can simultaneously record one part guitar, then layer other parts. So uh, down the road, I might uh, re rearrange it and make it to a song, but it's more of an improv, and I'm sort of happy the way it came out. And off to Arizona, actually, it's a rare blend song, which I wrote, me and my wife, Bobby. We wrote that. I got inspired because I went to... Uh, Arizona back in 2003 or 4, I don't remember, quite remember, on vacation and it's such, it's so beautiful out there that inspired me to write that song on acoustic guitar. So you are an excellent guitarist. You must have a lot of music education and training. What's your background? Well actually my back, I'm pretty much self-taught, you know, myself. I And I did take guitar lessons for Ooh, I say about six, seven years. I went through all the Mel Bay uh, uh, books you, for you guitar players out there. That's, you know, I'm sure you heard of that that uh, class, the Mel Bay Mel Bay uh, guitar book series. And I learned from a lot from that from there. And of course, I learned a lot by ear as well. So I, you know, I I'm an ear guy too. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of musicians are. <laughs> yes, oh yes, nowadays, yes, yes, nowadays. With all the technology and out there with YouTube, you're learning from, you know, it's so incredible out there. Not the way it was when I was first learning guitar. There was no internet back then, so. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I won't. <laughs> So who can we credit as your major music influences? Well, I started listening to bands, actually. Uh, bands like Led Zeppelin, The Police, progressive rock group called Yes. I know you've heard, you've heard of all these bands. I, I Thin Lizzy. Uh, oh, there's so many. Uh, I started out with the classic rock guys that you call right now. But uh, as far as guitar players, uh, Carlos Santana is one of my favorites. Craig Shikisho, guitarist from uh, Jefferson Starship, is one of my favorites as well. And uh, there's so many. Aldi Miola, Jeff Beck, of course, is one of my favorite of all time as well. Victor, so you were the co-founder of a rock fusion group for many years, and you released five CDs while playing together. Tell us the backstory. Well, Rare Blend actually started off with me and my wife. Her stage name is Bobby Holt. That's her stage name. Back in 93, we did an album. We put an album together called Sin Infusion, our first CD, just a two-man group. It was me and her. Uh, I did the guitars, the bass, the drum programming. She did the keyboards and even bass as well. We put that together. Just to make a long story short, uh, back in uh, 98, we added two members, and we had a full band. Uh, you know, we had a four-piece, and then we put out five CDs. Our last one, uh, which uh, was released in 2009, it's called Sessions, which, which was our last one. And we had a very, very nice run from 94 
as a two-piece to 2010 as a full band, of course. Uh, we played a lot of great gigs, jazz festivals, uh, you name it, a lot of nice opening act. We opened up for some really uh, good national acts, so we, we really had a nice run. So, Victor, it sounds like the band was together quite a long time. What was the name of it so we can check it out? And how long were you together? What years? We were, The name of the band was called Rare Blend, and we were together for 16 years. 16 uh, long years and uh, after 2010 we sort of uh, we sort of got burned out and uh, it was it was quits or hiatus however you want to put it what was the magic to staying together for all those years what's the trick well uh, yeah we do ourselves crazy a lot of times but there was times you know we really got along and and you know we uh, we came out with some good ideas as far as writing. We all got together and jammed and uh, just bounced off ideas from, in, from each other. And uh, that's pretty much, uh, that's a lot, of, uh, a lot of the way that we put songs together from jams and then we were, we were like, we arrange them and then put them, when it's time to record them, boom, it was time to record them. So it, it, it was a nice run with Rare Blend. So why go solo now instead of forming another band? Well, I started the solo thing just before we were, you know, we were ending our last year in 2010 or late 2009. I don't quite remember. It was right around there. It's just something different I wanted to do. Do something by yourself. Guitar. But now let me tell you that that is challenging. But but I kept doing it, kept doing it, and I really. You know, I really thought this was this is interesting. I think I can do something out of this, and you know, do some writing and even do some other cover songs. But I would put it together in my, I would fashion it in my style, you know. And so I would mix that along with my own music that I put together. And uh, it's been five years now, and uh, it's going pretty well. And uh, hopefully, I'll put out another CD very soon. Still, still in the works though. Well, Sense of Use now is about artists helping artists. Tell me, what advice do you have for other artists who are thinking about a solo career? Wow, okay, good question. Ooh, that's an interesting question. Uh, well, I would say practice your instrument, hone on it. I mean, definitely, you know, be the best you can be in that instrument. And try to learn some different styles. You know, nothing wrong with learning different styles. You know, to listen to different kind of guitar players. And um, as far as one thing good about being a solo guitar musician, you can gig anywhere, any kind of place, anywhere from a funeral home to uh, a winery to a club, of course, as an opener, uh, a festival and house concerts. The list goes on as a, as a solo musician. There's lots of other uh, avenues as far as... The, uh, playing at different places. So many. So what you're turning it into is a career not only just for recording and selling your music, but as a solo person who can come and supplement any act, right? Or be a lead in before another act performs. So you're really taking it in and working all the angles as a solo artist. Well, yeah, yes. Uh, I mean, I, ha I've ha I have done some shows where I was an opening act for a couple of bands here and there, but a lot of my bread and butter, is, believe it or not, is uh, pretty much shows uh, playing at restaurants as far as paying the bills because I'm I'm pretty much a full-time musician and uh, I play a lot of restaurants, wineries, uh, senior citizen homes, believe it or not. So what's up next for Victor Samalot? Well, I, I have a CD that I, I currently put out in 2011. It's pretty. Uh, it's a nice uh, laid-back guitar CD, which has some Latin and light rock, a little jazz. And my next one's gonna be more a little, a, a little more overpowering. I'll, well, I would, I shouldn't say overpowering, but it definitely has. It's gonna have some more flair to it, some beats, some cool beats and rhythm, some percussion. So, as I was telling you earlier, that's still in the works. You know, uh, work. I'm gonna be working with the other people. You know, hiring. So. 
I will definitely keep you informed. I'm looking forward to that. So, still in the works. So the album you released in 2011, what's that name? I, I, it's, pretty, it's simply entitled under my name, Victor Samala, uh, on, uh, which is available pretty much in CD Baby and through my website, victorsamala.com as well. Victor, I had a fabulous time getting to know you today. Oh, Cynthia, thank you. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure to meet you uh, via video here interview. You know, it's, it's great. I know. We've been talking a long time on Twitter, so it's great to get to see you. That's it's right. So That's how we met. Yes, yes. We met through Twitter. That's right. I forgot. through the. I believe it was the uh, Go Girl chat. Yeah. It's great. Great. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's been a pleasure, and I wish you all the best. Good night. Thank you so much, Cynthia. You as well. Keep up the great work. Hi, I'm Cynthia Kahn, founder of Amuse Now. This featured artist presentation has been brought to you by Amuse Now Entertainment, a website that enables artists to profit from their creativity. To learn more about Amuse Now, visit us at www.amusednow.com or email me at ccon at amusenow.com. <laughs>